guys and welcome to the channel. Today I am going to be doing a multi palette bingo. I am going to be using all three of the ColourPop Disney palettes and stuff. Um, I would be doing, you'll see it all in the description when I put all this look together and everything, how I created and what I use and everything. So let's dive right in and see how I created this look guys for you. Sorry. Um, so like I said in my intro, I'm going to be playing with, doing a multi palette bingo with the three, uh, ColourPop Disney ones and stuff. I'm going to be going from the first one, which was the designer, then misunderstood, and then the masquerade one and stuff. And I have my number generator here. I know you guys can probably not see that well. So let's start it and I'll do the, um, the designer one first. No, number five. And number five is a boo, which is a tan color that could be good as. So there's a boo. That could be a nice base. So next one is three, and that's. Grumpy, another one that can be used. Mm -hmm. Grumpy. So I got some nude mats here from that one. That one's not going to be showing up so much. Um, let me do that one again and see what if I can get. Because that one's not going to show up. I already can tell you that. Two. Alright. The color next to it. Which is uh, Juju. And I do know that one will come up because I've used it before and it's really pretty. So, instead of a boo, it's going to be a... Luckily, I can go over it. So, there it is. And now, on to the misunderstood palette. And, uh, I know you guys all seen it. It's very vibrant. One. Here goes. Number 10, which is Bates, and it's a uh, rich blue. And next, I think we're off. Number 8. And it's going to be Forest of Thrones. And is that? Right there. Well, that should be pretty. Work with the blue. Okay. And I will be putting all of them palettes together of um, what ones I'm going to be doing. So here is the Midnight Masquerade. It's a little more richer and stuff. So, woohoo! So, here goes that. And number 14. If you guys don't want to do that one, don't forget it because I'm not using that one. So, sorry. I'm not going to use the first glitter. So, 9. Wait, 14? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. I had a 14. Never mind. I will do that one. I was like, wait, 14. And it's uh, kind of a burgundy. Yeah, right there. I'll use that one. And that is uh, Quasimodo. I think it's oh, like a that's brown ish plum. Sorry. I didn't I was misleading. So number two. And damsel. That color right there. That one's very buttery guys. I don't know what it is, but it's buttery. So here's those colors I got. I really don't have any. It's all mattes, guys. Wait, except one. I have one. <laughs> so I'm going to change it to 45. That will be how many is in each. So I got number 11, which will be in the designer one. Which is Enchanted Rose. 
which is from Beauty and the Beast. So I have another shimmer right here. That should work with the purple. That should be pretty. Let me see. I'm going to put it right next to the top of it. Oh, yeah. Those two look really pretty next to each other. Okay. So, next one. Uh, 40. And that will be in the masquerade, I think. Yeah, masquerade. And that will be... Uh, yeah, that would be 45. It would be Frog and Wife. I have a green one now. I have three shimmers. So let's see what I can create with these colors. And I'm going to be using brushes that I got for Christmas that I've talked about. And um, my daughter's brushes too. Just to see how they work. So I'm going to go in with one of the brushes I got. And I think I'm going to start off with uh, the first palette one I did. Which I think... I have a cat trying to chew on my furniture. It's going to be grumpy. I'll use grumpy and then go over it with juju. So. I'll use the same brush because these are two very light colored. But juju is very pinky. I get a mix up. I'll probably run this color on the bottom. Actually, I'll do a combination of this color and the Judo actually on the bottom instead. And leave this one here just by itself. One thing I don't like about these so far is that the brushes are, the, uh, they're soft, they feel very nice, but it feels like they're, um, just coming out. And now I think I'm going to go in with that blue. And that was in uh, Yeah. The fates. Um I'm going to use this one from Pinky Rose. Is there F17 and not this brush is starting to get on my nerve right now it is a pretty color I like this one yeah, I wish I could throw these away but I don't really have that many brushes, and right now, a whole lot of my brushes. This is like my least favorite to go to brush. It's just, there's something about it, it just hurts, and I just don't have the money to, right now to buy more brushes. There is a brush set that I'm curious about that um, one of my new friends, Debbie, was talking about, and she has a pair, and they're meant for people that have hand problems. And I do have hand problems because I, I have arthritis in right here. And you guys seen it. I had a fall and I hurt my hand really bad. Or not a fall. I smashed my hand while I was trying to get the Christmas tree in. In December. I don't like this brush. It hurts my eyes. 
it's like sharp it doesn't feel like it until you get it on the eye I don't know they change I've had this for a couple months now and I hope they change their um, brush style because oh my god these are painful and I'm not exaggerating it is painful um now I'm gonna go in with that damsel damsel that's in this one it's very creamy and so I'm gonna use a very which one is it so much brush I'm going to use this brush right here and kind of like pack it on here to soften up this area a little bit. This one is a very powdery. But it does mix really cute with the blue. I will clean up the bottom. But yeah. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Oh, I have trying to think. And the other one, Quasimodo. Where would I put Quasimodo? Actually, I would use Quasimodo. Like, I'm gonna use this dense brush and uh, just really focus it on, like, right by the eyeliner. No need. This one's a little sharp. Sorry. I'll smudge it out in a second with another brush. That's pretty brown. And I really don't try. I'm going to go in with that damsel again and smudge it out. not too bad. I want it to keep it very but I'm not joking those that brush is painful. But um yeah this out mm, yeah I'm just gonna use my glitter glue and pack on that so I have the three I used mama or the um uh, what you call it the frog and wife with the which one is it I got the fours of thrones and I'll put the I'm going to get out of here. Uh, enchanted rose on the bottom. That's what I'll do. So I have an idea now. Oh, it's a little bit. Let me use this flat brush. And I think I put a little too much on that brush. But, um, there's some makeup I want to look at getting. Like, there's this company called L Lily Posh. And I know my friend, new friend Debbie, is an. got. 
uh, a shadow named after her. I'm so excited for her. And stuff. That was so cool. And, uh, I really want to check out their stuff. Or this uh, company's stuff a lot. They're really, really pretty. But, like I said, we're strapped right now. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to do first. I think I'm going to put the, um, frog and wife down on top with the purple on the bottom. So, and this is in one of the new brushes I got too. And I, yeah. I just want a little bit of it, not too much. I want that purple one to be like the main one. And this one is pretty too. But um, yeah, and another thing is that I had hit my 50. I know like a couple weeks ago I mentioned I hit 30. Now I'm at 50. And I have to say thank you to two, or sorry, three wonderful women and stuff. Um, first off is Anya, because she decided to write me and talk to me and uh, got me out of my comfort zone and collabed with me and I started gaining followers and stuff just by doing that with her and just recently just a few days ago I did another collab with another wonderful woman and a bunch of other lovely ladies and stuff and I've gained, and it's all thanks to Bad Bit Mama for that, and I love her for that. And the other one I just talk to and go on her live stream, and suddenly I have followers from her, is Debbie. And I will be doing a club with her too soon. And now I'm, sorry, uh, the Forest of Thrones. This is on now. Sorry. But those three women are just amazing and stuff, and I, I love them and adore them. And I can't wait to collab with them. Debbie. And Debbie is the one that told me about, um, and Anya too, about Lily Posh. And they're gonna have, uh, their site back up on the first, sorry. And, um, I'm excited for this. I followed the owner and everything. She's amazing. She's so hilarious to watch some of her videos that she posts up. She does TikTok too, which is so funny. And it's just, I want to get my hands on some of her eyeshadows and stuff. I wanted to get that, there was a nuclear palette that she released not too long ago, but I couldn't get it due to finances. And um, if my financial situation gets better, I want to do a giveaway. Or hitting my um, um, 50 mark and it's mostly my husband's ideal on this one because he's really proud of me that I hit this and he feels that I should thank all my viewer viewers and I really truly appreciate every one of you guys for following me and all that stuff I just I'm so grateful But yeah, my husband's very proud of me and I'm so blessed to have an amazing man like that. Alright, here is that blue brush. That blue is pretty. It's one of my favorite blues out of their palettes. My last one on. Come on. There we go. Got a little flaky on me. And there's so far that. And I think the last one was in the signer. 
And that's an enchanted rose. I'm going to clean off that one brush I use. That one right here. And just focus that right here. To darken up that area. So, I think for my highlighter, I don't want to use my norm, my current highlighter, which is gone for some reason. I think it's because I've been wiping my face a lot, which is a piece, peach goddess. My daughter, I don't know if you guys can see that, but she gouged in it. <laughs> that girl's funny. I'm not mad at her. She's learning herself in some she just got a little sneaky and saw that Mama had it out and wanted to play with it. And I'm not mad. I told her she had to be careful next time and she listens pretty well. And it's going to be a challenge because, uh, yeah, they're probably going to be closing school for the rest of the season. Yay. So if I seem stressed, you guys know why. <laughs> I'm trying. I have to now pull teacher and mommy all in one situation which I hope I can do a good job um so I'm gonna do a combination of uh, Prince Charming with yeah I know this is used Prince Charming because it's really pretty come on I and I'm gonna Try a little bit on top. Okay, so, kind of messy, but I'll try to tweak it when I do my lashes, something my waterline, and um, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. You know the drill and everything. Okay, be right back. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. kind of <laughs> blotch that one out but it doesn't look that bad I think it's pretty of course I won't be wearing this long because it's like almost eight o'clock at night right now I'm doing like a last minute videos first so I've been down all day but yeah um not bad for a multi palette bingo look though I like it it's pretty um for my waterline I use a combination of NYX Deep Purple, it's their perfect, their retractable eyeliner, and then um, LA Girl in gel line in the color, uh, it's really hard because they put it on black, Paradise Purple to give it a shine, a little bit of a shine underneath, but yeah, those are the two, and I added a little bit of ColourPop Black to right here to get the band looking nice, and that's in Swaver, Swaver, Swaver. Sorry. Uh, my lips are a liquid, uh, Lux Liquid Lips from ColourPop in Spin. It's the, uh, Rapunzel one. And it doesn't dry down matte, but it's pretty. I just wanted something set on my lips and everything. My lashes are from Pinky Rose and Famous. I've worn these in a while and I miss them. I cleaned all my lashes. Try to clean those my lashes last night, and uh, yeah, I think they're very pretty. Still, one of my favorite ones in a while. Um, but I had fun, and uh, you guys, just keep um, I I may do a video, um, do uh, doing a 50 giveaway, my 50 market giveaway. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. I just need to first find out my finances and everything. But I'm excited that I have hit over the 50 mark getting up there getting close and I just I'm so excited and thank you for all that has getting got me there and everything I'm really excited but I will let you guys know um and stuff all the fun things that will come um but yeah if you guys like this video give it a like down below and if you aren't already subscribed click the subscribe button and the notification bell too and if you want you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter 
and I do have a Facebook page for my YouTube channel too. And it's actually would be linked in my little bar up top. You guys can click the little icons. That's where you find all my stuff there too. But yeah, um, I hope y'all guys are safe, buckling, bunkling down in your houses and being safe. And I'm just trying to entertain you guys with what I do here. <laughs> all right. And I love you all, and you guys have a good night. Bye. Or a good morning, I mean. <laughs> okay? Bye, guys.